How do I start my own business? Being my own brand would be totally legit. I want to be the next Gary V. My dream is to be on Shark Tank. I'm just gonna Google it. I mean, I'm awesome at social media. What could go wrong? Oh my God. Hello everyone and welcome to Learning Curves. It's Kelly Bassetti. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited about the guest I have here with me today. I've been learning so much about some really cool technologies that are helping cure people and make them better. You are going to be excited to hear about all the things that he has to talk about today. I'm here today with David Christensen, the founder of Pulse Light Medical Technology. He owns three businesses, NeuroCare Pro, NeuroCare System and Pulse Wellness Center. So thank you so much for being with me today, David. Well, thank Appreciate you for having it. me, Kelly. Can you just start out a little bit and tell me a little bit about what you do? Okay, well. I know it's a lot of things. Well, it is a lot of things. <laughs> so so um, let me take one of those at a time. Okay, yes. So really, I can put some big words on this, but I'm not going to do that. It's called, people know this as red light therapy. It's more right. than that because it's actually what two, two different kinds of frequencies, near infrared and red. So it's called polychromatic light therapy, but, but people know it as red. So it's not new. It's been around for 50 years. Um, if you listen to people like Einstein said, the future of medicine is a medicine of frequencies. Tesla, want to learn the secret of the universe, learn about vibration, energy, and frequencies. So it's really, it's not quantum healing, it's vibrational frequency healing. So you've heard of laser, cold laser. Well, cold laser is, is very similar to LED. They're both called photobiomodulation, not complicated, it's body light change. They like to put big words on it. Yeah, I think I've got some of that done on my face. If you yeah, times. so well, hot laser and cold laser yes. are different. Um, and laser is more accepted because they're inside the... The universities with their training that are very expensive and the word laser i mean that's a very impressive name led you think christmas lights yeah you know? so but they're but they do the same thing right. and it's pulsed light into the cells at various hertz rates which creates a frequency so each frequency has a physiological cellular change as an example of that um, so you pulse light into the cells and it creates nitric oxide similar to Viagra, which has a precursor called sildenafil, and it's a, it creates nitric oxide. We all know what it does. We don't need to speak about that on the radio. Well, does it help it, with that also? I'm not going to get into that, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes, it does. And so, um, so it's a, it, when you pump light into the cells, a portion called the mitochondria of the cell, it's, it creates ATP and nitric oxide, which are both healing elements. This is really a little simpler than you think. When the body heals with blood, so what's in blood? So it's oxygen, nourishment, glucose, nutrients, and it removes cellular waste. Well, that's healing. So when you double the blood flow in a biocyte or a body part that has diminished blood flow, like pain, like a, um, like a neurological disorder, something in the head or something in the, in the spine, doubling the blood flow just brings more oxygen, more blood, more of those components to heal the body. The body knows what to do with the blood. So if you're watering the lawn and you get a kink, a ho a kink in the hose, you're not going to have as much, you know, blood, water coming, I said blood, water coming out of the hose. Hopefully you don't have blood. <laughs> um, and it's just really, it's, it's, it's vasodilating. It's, 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 some say vaso, it's vaso or whatever. It's like potato, potato. But it's dilation of the, of the peripheral vascular system. You got your pulmonary, which oxygenates it. And then you have your peripheral that distributes throughout the body. Right. So when you put lights on a biocyte, um, it essentially is just bringing blood flow to that biocyte. It's uh, uh, blood flow reduces inflammation and thus the pain that's the, like the sensory nerves, which are compromised from, you know, loss of blood flow, inflammation, some sort of event, injury of some sort. When you increase blood flow, inflammation comes down and, and so does the pain. Sounds like it's a more natural way to try to heal yourself yeah. instead of trying to go get surgery. For well, example. it's completely natural, non-invasive. Yeah. In fact, it's, it's, it's not new. It's been around a really long time. Um, and I could talk about, you know, like there's a guy named uh, Dr. Royal Reif who created resonance frequencies back in the 60s. And he took, um, he did a test with uh, um, one of the LA universities. I want to say it was uh, USC. And uh, he took the stage four cancer patients. And um, that were essentially those dreaded words, get your affairs in order. There's nothing we can do, that type of thing. Yeah. 
And if you, in fact, I brought an article for you to even, I'll leave behind with you so you can read that for your own edification. But Okay, and we'll also put it in the show notes up for the podcast. Yeah, yeah, it's fascinating read. stuff. And you can also see it on TED Talk, and I'll get into that in a little bit more. You can actually see a modern version of it okay. on TED Talk. I which love is, TED Talk. It's, it I love it. Yeah, yeah, you're going to see a gentleman on there. He's a, he's a scientist, and he's a, a musician, and he deals what they call the 11th harmonic which is a whole other discussion, but <laughs> it's just essentially using resonant frequency. So he discovered, he got these, these cancer patients, and the first series, 80% of them were cured with light therapy. It blows up the cancer cells. Then he got another round, and then it was 100% healing rate, and you can read the articles yourself. And it was great because the whole medical community said, oh, this is unbelievable. Well, then pharma got involved and said, well, wait a minute. This is a $150 billion category. We like selling ten thousand dollar chemo um, yeah. shots, and I mean, I, I don't want to get into the uh, why I think our medical system is broken. But if you don't think it's broken, I have a few things to say on that subject matter at another time. Yep. So it's trying to get everybody's money. Yeah, right now. I mean, it's, it's just you know, it's well, about like carpal <laughs> tunnel. Just pick something simple like carpal yeah. tunnel. Mm -hmm. You can reverse carpal tunnel with 10, 15 sessions of light. It, it, you don't need a surgery. I mean, uh, talk about peripheral neuropathy, which is, a f you know, it's, it's failure of your microscopic vascular system. And diabetes get it. It's how limbs are cut off at the lower Is that how when someone with diabetes, their, their legs get black and exactly blue? Exactly right. my dad had that. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. And so um, this increases the blood flow to the, to the lower extremities. Mm -hmm. You have different kinds of peripheral neuropathy. You have small fiber, large fiber, but no one's looking for a medical degree here. So we'll keep it simple. Peripheral neuropathy, when they go into the doctor, first of all, um, they give them, your options are B12 shots, electrical stimulation, dangerous medications, gabapentin, Lyrica, Neurontin, which are just really, they're, they, they suck the life it's out of you. poison that you're putting in your body. Yeah, but they have a pill for side effects, so yeah. you don't have to worry about that, right? right. There's a pill for everything. <laughs> yeah, there today. is. <laughs> and um, I think that's kind of like, you know, um, and, and they don't really have options. So people tend to overcharge for these things when they find out light therapy um, um, will actually, you know, give them some quality of life back. I don't say it's 100% with peripheral neuropathy, but you get the right supplement uh, system and the boots and a high quality set of boots, and you can do very well with it. Yeah, you can definitely get a little. Uh, the symptoms are horrible. I mean, it's we get we kind of specialize in peripheral neuropathy. I've done over, I don't know, probably 700 seminars, and I train physicians, set up their offices with it. Is it mostly nerves that it helps with yeah. or bone health? Does well, help? well, yeah, I mean, you can do bone health, too. Mm -hmm. Think of it this way. Anywhere you put blood flow is an anti-aging. So, right. you know, in the beginning, we talked a little bit about, like, like I can't tell you how many um, um, knees and joint replacements we've avoided with people just because... We can't regrow um, cartilage, but we can reduce the inflammation and reduce the pain and, you know, avoid surgeries. I mean, this happens all the time. Um, I had a doctor call me two weeks ago that's dealing with, um, well, severe dementia and with supplements and my lights. He said, David, this is unbelievable. Now, I'm not making any claims that we do this. Okay, so we're crystal clear on that. But doctors call me all the time. And there's a study out there, and I, I don't know if it was mice or rats, but they were pulsing light at 40 hertz into the cage. Well, I assume it was a cage or they were running through the disco, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and, and so these um, Alzheimer's rats started to normalize. And so we've known a long time. Rats get Alzheimer's? Well, they, 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 yeah, I mean, I don't know that they, they, they induce it, I'm sure, somehow. Um, I don't know that they go through a crop of mice and go, okay, this one's got Alzheimer's. I don't, right. I don't, how I don't know. know. That, that would be more for a lab guy <laughs> yeah. than me. I can just read the studies. I don't <laughs> know how they curious. got the mice. But if you think about it, um, so there's this thing called amyloid beta uh, plaque, 42, it's a plaque that suffocates the brain. And they, you know, the study strongly suggests that this is in our future. And used to get a neurological um, diagnosis and, you know, whether it be multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, you know, whatever, used to be a life sentence. Well, it's not anymore. And you got big universities like Harvard, Yale, Stanford, University of Wisconsin have full departments committed to this. In fact, Professor Hamlin at Harvard is probably one of the leaders of what they call transcranial penetration. In mm -hmm. other words, like going through the brain. So it's not like it's sitting here on the Star Wars or star, you know, some some futuristic ooh, you know. I mean, the this, the manned space shuttles had this therapy, this light in it. They they were using it for for growth, growing plants, and all of a sudden they started realizing this has healing properties way back when. So, like I was telling you about Rife. Now, a lot of people like to use Rife's name. So, you know, it's like Tesla. Yeah. You know, um, 
it's Tesla uh, in, you know, engineered, you know. Um, but there's a lot of uh, promising um, things in our future with this. I mean, they're using it in burn centers, um, di uh, diabetes, um, lesions. They're doing all kinds of um, neurological, anti-aging. Uh, so what is anti-aging? Well, I mean, that depends on what we're speaking about. Is it They're using it in cosmetic. It can right. literally um, tighten skin, create collagen. You can remove age spots. In fact, I have a scar on my arm that, and don't ask how I was a kid, I got shot by an arrow. Oh, wow. <laughs> we were, and um, it was about as big as a penny. And then I was treating my elbow with tendonitis. And that thing, after a 45-year-old scar, itched, turned red, scabbed over three times. That's called angioneurogenesis. That's taking dead tissue and putting capillary beds in it. So that can, can become live tissue, mm -hmm. which was stunning to me. I mean, that one, I mean even though, uh, you know, we're not a distributor. We were actually the manufacturer. And, and I never can hear enough how great this is. It's like it's... I'm addicted to it. When people call me and go, oh, my God, my back, my sciatica used to go out. I haven't had a back problem in a year. I've had yeah. full-grown men call me saying, you're not going to believe this, David. I went down the stairs not holding, out, not holding on to the rail today. I said, yeah, it's been 15 years. So when people start the, treat the laser treatment, whatever it might be for, mm -hmm. and maybe it's different depending on what they're coming in for, mm -hmm. because we talked about a couple of different things from anti-aging to brain health um, to even helping your knee joints or... Mm -hmm something like that. Yeah. How, um, how many times do they need to utilize a treatment you know, before I they start seeing I didn't seeing bring results. my crystal ball, <laughs> unfortunately. Just curious. Well, okay, so. But it's probably different for everyone. It is, exactly mm -hmm. right. Everyone responds differently. What's the severity? If you take something like, like, like a peripheral neuropathy, where they're taking statin drugs, which is a anti, you know, a cholesterol in, uh, medication, mm -hmm. and there's been a warning for a good part of 15 years that it it creates neurological and neuropathic disorders because it I'm not going to get into too much but you have this little blanket that covers your your nerves and it's made out of fat and cholesterol so it's demyelinating these drugs are actually not smart drugs they don't know good cholesterol from bad so it's actually creating nerve damage and so the reason you mentioned laser so let me kind of back up with that you may be talking about well led the and laser the they're very close yeah. one's one's a narrow field of light that does cell clusters the other is a broad disbursement of photons into the tissue so it's it, you can do huge huge body parts at one time and why, like, no, why you had normally have to go in for like six treatments or well something you're gonna it depends again see. depends what, yeah. what we're talking about here but at cea marketing we take your business your passion and your why and we sell it if you're unsure where to start marketing your company cea marketing is here to help our team at CEA has tons of experience and top-notch training, which helps you take all the stress and confusion out of marketing your own business. After years of working with large companies like Pulte Homes, the Outback Bowl, and Metro Places, we guarantee the successful implementation of a marketing strategy. It, it, there's certain things that require more work. Like if you want to just increase your mental acuity, say you have brain fog or you're just, you know, just natural aging, you're not quite as sharp as you were. I mean, you can treat as much as you want. Now the brain is a little bit more, it's an appendage I spend a little more time thinking about than, than the biocytes that are below the neck. Because, yeah. But there's no, there's no bad side effects. They call them contraindications. That it used to require a 510K clearance from the FDA. But in 2017, after 30 years of studying it, the FDA said there's not one side effect here. Yeah, you and just go in. And yeah. How, how long do you? Are um, you sessions can depend. For? Like the, with the LED, it depends. It's not so okay. So it depends on joules. It it, it it's power times time. It's a, light is me measured in something called joules. So if you go in with a very powerful device, mm -hmm. your treatment time is less. So it's not necessarily time. It's what are the joules? equals time. So as an example, I have a new pad coming out in, in March, or actually April 1st, probably. It's a very powerful device. It, I, I'm going to take 20, 30 minute treatment time, and I'm going to be down to five, six minutes. Because it's so much powerful. It's four, it's four times more powerful than, than any pad on the market. Um, and so that's, that's kind of what it's about. And the other really cool thing is when you talk laser, that's usually an in-clinic thing. You're going to see a lot of these handheld things. Because laser treatments you have after effects. Yeah, well, yeah, Stabbing I mean, lasers have a home, have a purpose, but, yeah. but the, everyone believes that the LED version of light therapy is, is, is the better technology. There's a lot of reasons for that. Right. How are you going to compete treating home twice a day, seven days a week, if you wanted to? Say you have severe chronic pain. If you get two or three appointments a week with your doctor, that's a pretty good week. 
and you have it's 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 incoherent, which means you can't harm yourself if you tried. The worst thing that can happen with LED version is they call it's biphasic, which means it kind of is like too much is not always good. It's not going to harm you, but it's not going to be as effective. You know, you do your treatment time. You can increase it as you get used to it. But it's not always more. Just, you know, treat eight hours a day. Ooh, that's better than two. That's not but the case. But you probably need it to give it the time for the right. blood. Right. The energy has to clear. The Absol- energy in the body to help it work. Excellent point. Do its, do its thing. You're picking up on this quick. <laughs> exactly right. The energy is created with the ATP and nitric oxide. And those cells have to clear that energy. Mm-hmm. So that's actually a, a, a perfect point. And so... So that's what's great. And then there's a lot of internet toys. People don't know the difference between an internet toy and a real class two medical device. And it's not just the light. It's yeah, the pulse Yeah, I see rates. like the, the caps with the lights for hair. Yeah. And they have the ones that you can put on your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't talk about the competitors because... I actually have one for my face. Yeah, I well, haven't even opened it. Well, when you come by my center, you're going to put that one into the storage. <laughs> Um, I haven't even taken out. I mean, and it's not just expensive. Too. Well, and it's not just the light. Yeah. It's the pulse rates mm-hmm. and the and the algorithms of the light. So, light's important. The power of the lights. Like, there's different types of technology. Some are called through hole. It's every other role. So it's red, infrared, red, infrared, and it's protruding diodes that stick into your bone. You lay on it. You got all these marks on you. Then you have what's over here is the SMD technology. Those are chipsets, and each chipset has both frequencies in it, and it's flat. The old technology projected out at 30 degrees, which is what I'm showing you here. That's mm-hmm. about 30 degrees. This, pro- this projects the photons into the cell at 120 degrees. So you can do huge biocytes, and it's a much better ap- medical application. Not only that, the controllers are very important, too. Um, I don't know where, that's, where the controller for that is hidden. Oh, it's in back there. Um, can I my, say it has everything from... Yeah, you the got the brain cap, brain the cap. transcranial. You can use the one that's going across the shoulder. or on so the, for the, shoulder? Well, you can that? use it anywhere, joint, shoulder. Okay. If you want to treat your blood, which is really important, you can literally treat, uh, you can test for, let's say you had some cocktails and you want to drive home. You can literally put across your belly, treat your blood for 30, 40 minutes, and your blood alcohol level is going to be way down. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never done it, but a physicist friend of mine did. Now, I'm, that's, that's a th- theoretical, by the way, right. ladies and gentlemen. But so they Don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not a doctor. I just play yes. one at home. So the other really cool thing is athletic recovery. That's a huge underdeveloped segment. So, yeah, you have your cosmetic, you have your medical, but you have what they call biohacking, which is a huge, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's, we say biohacking sells to health. So it's, a, it's, it's all about getting ahead of health. And if you go to these biohacking conferences, it's a bunch of good-looking, healthy people. Yeah. Well, there is yeah. a lot of things that happen to us when we're younger that we don't realize. Yeah. And so getting ahead of it yeah. will really help. I, mean, I told my daughter this because I was a figure skater, figure skated for 25 years. Were you? Yes. Did, you go, did, did I see you on TV at one time? Um, probably not on television. Oh. <laughs> I remember you Especially, in the 1972 Olympics. Unless you went to one of the ice skating shows at HRIC. No, I don't do it. Although I do think they're some of the most attractive women on planet Earth. But I took a lot of dives on the ice and had a lot of injuries to my knees, elbows. I broke several bones. And when I got started getting older, I started actually starting in college mm-hmm. when I started having issues with my ankles like mm-hmm. turning because I wasn't as active as I was and then I broke my ankle like 10 times and then my knees now are of course are shot so now I'm having to deal with that but my daughter who plays volleyball she's starting to get these injuries yeah and I keep telling her you know don't go back and play right away and be careful well this would be perfect for your family I mean yeah for so what I was saying is yeah that's oh gonna help yeah these kids maybe not have as much pain right. as we do now older. Am I, I correct with that? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you're talking two things. First yeah. of all, you know, I mean, you're talking about inflammation. You're talking about arthritis. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's a lot of treatments out there. You know, PRP, which is plate, platelet-rich yep. plasma. I've done that before. Yeah, which, you know, um, stem cell. I mean, I won't get into that, uh, but, you know, I would like to maybe off – camera we'll talk a little more about details about those things but <laughs> i'm curious yeah so yeah that. well yeah so <laughs> so um the um the um athletic recovery is important so we know well think about this i you were an ice skater so the first thing when you're done training was your legs probably went well if i can reduce your healing time your recovery because w- what is a what is a 
um, a workout. You're breaking, you know, your, your, your tissue is being torn and you're rebuilding it and the size is coming in and it's, it, it doesn't matter what sport we're talking about. So yeah. if I can double the blood flow, I guess simple biology su- suggests that my recovery time is less. Now, if you're an athlete, that seems like a big advantage to me, so, right? Because, and I was an athlete too, and maybe I'll tell you a story about how I, how I got into this industry. Yes. But then they have people going into gyms that vasodilate before they go and do their workout. Mm-hmm. And they, they're getting, and I mean, someone sent me, and I didn't have any direct experience with this, but I'm, have, I'm on LinkedIn, and I had people sending me articles and saying, I mean, is this real? And it's like, well, I looked into it, and yeah, it is actually real. You, you can get athletic recovery because you're vasodilating for two hours. It's not just like, oh, my God, the pad's off me. Now I'm not vasodilating. It keeps going for a while. Well, of course, it depends how long the pads are on you. But, but so, yeah, they're using it pre-workout, post-workout, and their people are raving about it. And same thing with knees. I mean, I had uh, someone come in, uh, even, I don't know if you spoke to Dina, my assistant. She had horrible knees. Well, she's completely normalized now, and this happens. Knees are easy. I mean, that's 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 easy stuff. Not to see you about that. Yeah. Well, I, I'll make you. A, 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 you know, we will we'll talk about that. But but it's um, you know, uh, anytime you have inflammation, um, you know, you we can bring down that inflammation fairly quickly, and so and that's going to re- that's going to take the pressure off the sensories. I mean, that's just a simple fact. And so yeah, I mean, there this is really cool technology, and and I'll even give you a little story. Okay, so. You know, I had a lot of concussions. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, like, I know okay. That my I know. injuries, I'm sure. Yeah. Have you, you gave me a great story of how you yeah, well, yeah. got into all this. I, I, was, I was reluctant to get mm-hmm. too deep into this because I say I fixed my brain, but if you spoke to my ex-wife, she would disagree with you. So, <laughs> um, yeah. so I had a lot of concussions, and, um, you know, I had a, you know, it wasn't exactly, I was in sort of an abusive childhood situation. You know, not only physically but mentally, and it started at a really young age. Really, then. yeah, I had my m- yeah. multiple uh, of the concussions were given to me by my parents, That's which is terrible. Yeah, it is. Well, it's, it is what it is, and and you can whine yeah. about it, or you can, you can, you know, you can move on and forgive the unforgivable, and move on. I mean, it is what it is. You know, so I'm not the only person on planet Earth that was abused. I mean, I'm certainly. I think I came out of it pretty good, but you know, my my children are amazing. I mean, I got a future PhD physics and computer science and you know, my daughter's uh, going to be a phd in forensic uh, or forensic psychology so that's amazing the dysfunctional chain a lot of ended. people never yeah. get, get over something well like you that. can you can, i mean you can whine about it or you can and i and i was a wild child i'll be very honest with you i was a very wild child and we'll leave it there <laughs> we won't define <laughs> that in specifics for you but um so and about two uh so i've been playing with lights for oh my goodness since 207 8 but I didn't really talk a lot of them because I was in I was creating neurological formulas in a um, highly advanced herbal formula that were equivalent to drugs, like herbs. The thing with I don't know if you know the sixty thousand herbs are used for drugs. The pharmaceuticals take out the actives and throw away the second and tertiary metabolites, which are the healthy part. Which of is it. the best part. Yeah. Which is the best I've part. Heard that before. Yeah, and they synthesize. Oh, I can I can say that word <laughs> synthesize. Um, and so um, I was creating formulas. In fact, in two thousand eleven, I won best new product of the year yeah, for a formula. And, I mean, that was an accomplishment, but that's not, that doesn't stack up to what I'm accomplishing today. I can right. impact. I get to wake up every day and impact lives at, in a dramatic fashion, and, yes. and we can get into that in more detail at another time. But so I had a a, a big uh, blow up in my mind, and uh, nobody could fix me. I lo- I was became allergic to UV lights. I spoke a couple different languages. I lost those and. Um, you know, I've read over 200,000 studies. I have a, a pretty decent uh, um, ability to retain. I used to 98.8% recall. And so it was, you know, a very dark place for me. And, and that my, started happening. Yeah, oh, God, it was bad. Yeah. I, I mean, I, you know, as many concussions as I had, I wasn't surprised if I had CTE. I mean, you know, that's a little hard to test back then unless you're a cadaver. And I wasn't prepared to lay down and let them cut my brain open. Right. But nobody could fix it. In fact, it took a better part of a year for someone to figure out what it was. And you have a, a lot of football... Well, I had a, I concussion after concussion. Yes. I mean, people don't understand. It doesn't have to be a traumatic brain injury. I mean, the number one cause of brain problems is in sports is in soccer players. I mean, hitting the ball with their head. It's not designed. There's no shock absorber in there. Yeah, you're not a pelican with a with a with a shock where you can dive into the water at 30 miles an hour. Right. Like the human ball, body isn't made that way. The, the particularly the, the brain. Hard. Yeah. And so um, my brain had an issue, and they wanted to put me on medications. And I don't know if you know what a, a, a a brain blood barrier is, but it's a protective around your brain. 
So a lot of drugs that are given to neurological disorders won't penetrate the brain because it just can't make, it won't go through the, what they call it, the BBB. Right. And um, yeah. So I started treating myself with lights and they wanted to get me all these pharmas. It's like, I haven't taken a pharma in 30 years and I'm going to start today. Although, you know, there was days I wish I would have just to kind of get out of it and started self-medicating with alcohol and, you know, just to you know, make myself not want to jump off a bridge, you know, yeah. very dark place. When you lose everything and you're in that dark of a place, I mean, look how many athletes committed suicide. What do you think that is? Do you oh, think that Vincent Jackson? I mean, I can name a bunch. That, that just, it's very sad. Alcoholism, due very to, sad. Yeah, yeah. brain very, injury. It's brain injury people yeah. underestimate, but it used to be a life sentence. And I write articles for Trade Magazine, so I've written one on uh, neuroplasticity. Yeah. Um, and once you get a, a mental or a, or a neurological diagnosis, it used to be a life sentence. Well, that's not true. Okay, it's not true. And and. You know, there's, there's limited choices of, you know, they have biofeedback and retraining the brain. You know, it's interesting. You know, there's a, I have a quote, and I'll say this on the radio because it's, it's, it's on tape, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have a problem with the FDA on this one. One of the chief scientists at the FDA made this statement on tape for a contribution on a book. If, if you put a powerful light device like this mm -hmm. on the head or heart of a stroke or heart attack victim, 50% of the damage will not occur. Think about that. They've known this for the better part of what, 15, 20 years? Somebody want to tell me why this is not in um, ER centers or ambulances? So, can somebody raise their hand and give me the answer to that? Because I've been dying to figure that one out. Yeah. Wow. I suppose that's just like the Rife machine. You know, I mean, stroke, what, so let's, let's look at that a little further. So I, talk, I told you about it, it vasodilates you it opens up your bloodstream and puts more blood wherever that light is and it does have it does travel photons travel through water just like a like a whale communicating in the ocean it's not like it's only going there so there's a lot of really wonderful secondary and tertiary benefits and so when a you have a stroke it doesn't matter how you got the stroke it could be a clot it could be you know who knows what stress induced what happens well your peripheral vascular system in your brain has collapsed and those uh, brain cells are starving for oxygen. And the longer they starve for the oxygen, the more die, the worse the symptoms are, which would, you know, you see people that have the whole left side. Mm -hmm. Well, when you pop open that vascular system, you're, you're creating immediate blood flow to the biocytes that are damaged, and you're giving those cells a chance to retain life. And that's it's a, a pretty simple stuff. And, you know, I, I try not to think about this stuff too much and why, why this, why that. And I think if anyone can maybe send me an email and explain to me, do you think the medical system's broken? Or do you not think? Because if you look at the patterns of this stuff, I mean, we can do some pretty amazing things with vibration um, and, and, and light therapy. I mean, it's... Is it light therapy something that you always have to do for the injury? Or do you have several treatments? And then once you Well, i got to be careful, because if I stay? said I can Does cure you, I'm, I'm now by making a claim. So let me be real specific. It depends on what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking, if you're talking about a, a, a modality, a therapy such as light therapy, you're talking about you're going after the symptoms, and here's an interesting concept. You're I'm going, like speaking maybe concussion. Well, you're going after or the cause. Or something like so, that. okay, do you know what brain matter is, or brain matter, gray matter in the brain? Okay, yes. I, I have scans on my computer, and I can't really show it on a podcast. But so um, let me just talk about the brain real quick, and I'll try to keep it super simple. So gray matter healthy blood flow is essentially filled with axons, neurals, and dendrites and dendritics. Think of it this way. It's like cell towers in your brain that helps nerves communicate with nerves. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Aging, mental acuity decline, cognitive decline. Anyone that's getting older knows I'm not as sharp as I once was. That's just a natural aging. If you increase the blood flow in the human brain, some interesting things happen. Now, it depends on what we're, you know, what pulse rates and how much treatment and what you're trying to accomplish. But we do know we can increase the gray matter, and I have spec scans to show that. Well, if you had in the mental acuity issues, you're just not as sharp as you once were, and all of a sudden you are showing massive amounts of increased gray matter and blood flow. Well, I mean, that's fountain of youth, man. I mean, that is, that is what anti-aging is. Mm -hmm. It's all about blood flow, healthy tissue. I mean, you put... You put this, um, they're using this on vaginal stuff, erectile dysfunctional, reproductive, um, all kinds of things. I mean, it's not, these aren't claims. These are medical facilities using it. And it's stunning how many. I wrote a training course for physicians, and it's on my website. 
so they can, you know, they can you know, have their staff, you know, get educated about this, but they have to do it after three or four weeks of live use, so it actually means something. And I started writing this thing and really realizing how many uses there is. I mean, I ran out of space. I bet. It was unbelievable, yeah. man. And, and it's not just what it can do. This is what it's being used for. So, and, and I want to talk a little bit about the chiropractors because, you know, now medical's coming on board. Functional medicine is blowing up. You have um, a lot of the naturopathic and your DOs that embrace this. But I'm getting calls now from um, podiatrists because they have an onslaught of peripheral neuropathy. I haven't gotten to too much with the neurology yet because maybe it's, I don't know, I'm anti-medication, so maybe that, that call will never come. Right. But but it's truly amazing. Medical starting to embrace this now. I had a... a, a see a, chiropractic utilize it because they have a lot of... Well, uh, they'll get outside their lane. the lasers. Yeah, um, they get out of their lane. Yeah, they they do, try things. Sure. They like the next shiny thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think, I don't know if this is going to be a true statement, but maybe one day they'll, they'll get a Lifetime Achievement Award. I mean, what they've done for non-invasive advanced modalities is pretty dang impressive. I'm not saying it's only them, but they certainly are largely uh, the ones that, why I'm here today. I mean, if, if, you were, if we were expecting mainstream medical to drive the train, it hasn't. And, and I think that's a lot to do with provider paid. Um, you know, the insurance companies don't want to pay for this. And you have to scratch yourself in the head and go, well, why is that? Yeah, you would think that they would want to pay well, for it because they would save money. Follow the money trail. But they don't, they don't normally pay for things that are good for you. Well, I mean, I want to be they careful, too, on this. All I can say is this. bad, then they pay. Anyone can look at... Preventative would make sense. Yeah, so. well, anybody yeah. can look up past mm -hmm. FDA executives and where they're now working. And I'm guessing 95% of them are on a drug, uh, on a pharma board mm -hmm. or a um, medical device board, perhaps. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's trackable. If there's a reporter out there listening, I'm pretty sure they can figure that out fairly quickly. So you ask yourself this and think, well, 25% of the budget is paid for, uh, for the FDA's budget is created by the uh, pharma and the fees that they pay. That'd be like me owning a football team and hiring my own referees. Gee, you think I'm going to get some calls favorable to me? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say, look, I'm on the good list of the FDA because I don't make outrageous claims. And, you know, there was a, a group that was um, scamming seniors that I got wind of and you know, I was working and I put, put them out of business. I mean, you, you don't do that around me. You don't scan anybody around me, but particular seniors, they're desperate and they're being taken advantage of. And that one still hurts my heart, to be honest with you. That really bothered me. And uh, yeah, so we could talk all day about what's broken, but let's talk about what's not broken. There's some advanced modalities out there. Um, we're rounding the corner. It's a movement. You have options. You have options. I went to someone's home one day way back when, when I did seminars, and they had so many medications in their coffee table. It was a hundred of them. Between the husband and the wife, he goes, I'm seeing three of this. Three of that. I'm thinking, what in the Lord's happening here? And it's just, um, I don't know, man. And it just seems of, to me. A lot of them don't know how to manage the med. Well, and I don't want to get in the middle either. of that. Yeah. I mean, because, like, it's weird. I haven't had a medication in 30 years, but I'm still alive. Who knew, right? I mean, I'm sure the pharma never saw that one coming, right? Um, so it's really some, there's some really cool stuff happening. And I got to tell you, and it's, it's, it's really growing in popularity. People need to start thinking a little bit. If your medical system is broken and you think light therapy, how can light therapy? Well, how can a microwave pop your corn? Energy and frequencies do, do certain things. And frequencies have a tendency to do things that you just, you need to understand. Open the mind a little bit. There's articles, there's literally hundreds of thousands of articles on PubMed.gov. But do you think Harvard had a department called photonic medicine for 20 years because it doesn't work? Right. I mean, let's look at Occam's razor. I'm sorry. The simplest explanation is usually the correct one. I'm guessing it works. I see it every day. Now, you do have a placebo effect in a lot of things. And I'm not sure that your mind is not more powerful than my light. So if you have an open mind, it, it, it's, it can be pretty cool for you. But if you come in with a closed mind and never believe this is going to work, well, I mean, that's a placebo effect in a negative format now, isn't it? Well, it's all about energy, right? There you so go. There you, you go. positive energy. And you got negative. Yeah. Law of attraction. I what are you going to attract? That makes sense. I mean, I didn't create the law of attraction. <laughs> that was the universe. And that's physics 101. You're going to attract the energy and vibration in which you give attention to. Yes. If it's a woe is me, well, it's going to be, um, you're going to keep bringing negative energy. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my, that's my spiel there. I love it. Yeah. I love it. One my last thing I kind of wanted to go back to a little bit because I always like my um, founders and CEOs that come in mm -hmm. to give some advice to mm -hmm. other people that might be aspiring to do something 
great like you're doing. Yeah. Maybe it's a startup company or an inventor that's out there for his first time. Yeah. Um, what kind of advice would you give to someone? Well, for me, I, I, I'm one of these people that um, it has to work and it has to be ethically sound and it has to be fair. The money comes. So I think, it, and, and I love what I'm doing. I don't wake up thinking, oh, I got to go to work. That is my passion. So love what you do. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do it at a high, high level of integrity, the money will be there. I mean, I get to wake up and change people's lives every day. Now, I, I'm, I have a, I'm very, this is an honor. I mean, this isn't, this isn't something that I'm giving. This is an honor for me to do this. I mean, I fix my own brain, or at least somewhat, <laughs> and uh, for, for most part. And I get a chance to bring this to society as much as I'm allowed to without making outrageous claims. I mean, you can't harm yourself. Give it a shot because your current system doesn't seem to be working. If it is, I mean, I have a, a sister who, and I'm trying to get her to think differently too. It's, it's not exactly easy when you live your life in pain or having a positive outlook, but it kind of matters. I mean, it really does matter. And I'm not here. I'm not a motivational speaker here, so um, I'm not going to go down that that rabbit hole, but. The thoughts in your you body have a good do matter. Story, though, to share to people. Well, I mean, just look up Joe Dispenza. <laughs> Joe Dispenza <laughs> is a is a gifted gifted yes. chiropractor and a scientist that deals with lots of things in your body. You can look up his name, and he he broke his spine in three places, got hit by a car, and he was in a triathlete uh, situation. He fixed his own body with the power of his mind. Now that might sound corny. Well, listen to him tell you, read his articles. I, I wasn't there. I, I didn't see his X-rays. All I can say is this is a common tale. Uh, I've seen it firsthand myself of the, pow yeah. the power of, the of brain. positive thinking, oh, what amazing. it can do for yeah. you. Yeah. I think a lot of people that get really sick, um, sometimes they give up on themselves. I think that's most of it. Think mm -hmm. about this for a second. Now, your listeners might want to see a, a, a documentary called The Secret of Water. Just see that. If you don't think vibrations matter and words matter, then then don't don't embrace the documentary. But you'll see water experiments that will, I mean, it's kind of hard to, to deny them. I mean, Emoto, Professor Emoto from Japan, he's now, now, now gone, but passed away. But just look at his frozen water experiments. I mean, look at the energy of water. Water is a little more complex than you think. And if you see this documentary, I think you're going to get a lot out of that words matter. They, they absorb all vibrations. So if it, you're, what are you made of? Oh, yeah, you're 80% water. Hmm. So if I'm around negative vibrations or I speak negatively or I'm in the house with somebody who's abusive, where do you think those negative vibrations are going? They're going into your tissue. Mm -hmm. Now, everything, this is a, a probably a part of why we get stressed out. So exactly. Really. <laughs> and look, a lot of people are going through a lot since COVID. And there's yes. this thing called a pandemic within a pandemic. I mean, there is tons of people with brain fog now and, and peripheral neuropathy from the, the vaccines. I mean, there's articles. I mean, I'm going to leave you these. Look, these are articles on the subject matter. I mean, right in front of you here. It's, it's stunning to me. Um, so, you know, look, there's a lot of people are going through a lot of things right now. And so, you know, I'm not saying, hey, you know, let's all get together and kumbaya and hug, right? But <laughs> your, your words do matter. And, uh, you know, I mean, how you treat people matters. Because it, it, if you're treating people poorly or you're angry or you're in a dark place, those are what you're going to attract. Again, law of attraction. Those are, that's physicists. That's not, that's not philosophy, you know? Um, so yeah, I think if you really embrace this and give it a shot um, and understand the difference between a toy and a medical device, I think it can change lives. I think it can. It can change the lives in a, in a very prof uh, profound manner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's great advice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on my show today. Yeah, my pleasure. Everybody learned a lot. <laughs> I hope so. I have a tendency to talk fast. So. Yeah. So I'm like, like a fire hose of information. <laughs> when you I are. see people at live events, I can see them nodding off, and I know, okay, slow down a little bit. Well, we'll make sure if you can provide me with some links of some of the sure. things that you talked about and somebody wants to learn more about it, they can go and look at that information or watch some of the videos that you mentioned or read a book or something. Yeah, I have some interesting webinars on the neuro, even though the NeuroCare Pro website is for doctors, but mm -hmm. just go on to the webinar section and register and watch it about brain care. Watch it. I mean, this is for patients. It's yeah, not for I doctors. Watched, I watched all the videos on his website, and they yeah. are very informative. So I yeah, encourage I, you, if you are interested, to yeah. go take a look. And we'll be linking the website to uh, the show notes as well. Yeah, and you can reach me. You can just send out a contact if you'd like to reach us. And mm -hmm. um, we can certainly guide you in the right area and um, if that's uh, of interest. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Yeah. 
And thank you for joining Learning Curves. We appreciate you tuning in today. Don't forget, if you are on Spotify, to leave us a review and share the posts. If anybody else you think that really might um, enjoy this and get a benefit out of today's content, also please, if you're on YouTube, uh, remember to subscribe and leave a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Second Soul Studios is a full service production studio with capabilities for photo, video, podcasting, editing, co-working, and more. Our photo video studio has a number of different backdrop choices and props to choose from. We also have a gourmet kitchen set, or if you're an upstart podcaster, you'll love our four-person podcast studio. So what are you waiting for? Visit secondsoulstudios.com to book a tour today.